Good morning, YouTube. It's been a while since I've ranted about this, but recently um, I've been in contact with somebody on Facebook uh, who is running for the city commission and city council, Daryl Fairchild. And I was telling him the city of Dayton has way too many traffic lights across the city that are not being used. And this has to be probably the stupidest and most useless one I know of anywhere in the city. This is down by Fifth Third Field, okay? And I just want to say I am all for public safety where it is needed. But however, in this case, this is not even needed at all. Even though it's on a Saturday morning, but you got one car coming from that direction, but you know, this Sears Street right here at Sears and Monument, if you cannot safely turn onto a one-way street that's only three lanes, which this street is, is moderately traveled. It's not a what I would call a really heavily traveled road in this in this area. I mean, heck, I mean, even when there's Dragons games, if you cannot turn onto a one-way street from a little side street like this you see there's only maybe one or two cars parked on this street and only one coming in the distance from right here see right here you have this right here you have this stupid light that's turned green this way you only got one car that way and no cars even coming down this way so this light absolutely serves you know no purpose at all and and it's time that the city of Dayton stops handing out traffic lights like they're candy they're not candy people and you know and my solution to this is and you know and if the businesses want a traffic light especially especially at a especially at a at a intersection like this that is not used here's my solution to the problems make the businesses pay for it if they want it but I highly doubt there's anybody here, including Bricks, including the Dayton Dragons, including this old tool place, or whoever it is would pay for this light because it is so useless. Like right here, it's still green in this direction. And heck, even down there, there's only but a few cars off in the distance. So, you know... They could save a lot of money by getting rid of these unused traffic lights. Like right there, there's only one car going that way. The other car turned on 2nd Street. The city of Dayton could save a lot of money by getting rid of these unused traffic lights. I see they're waiting across the street, but there's really nothing to even, even obey a crosswalk for. There's absolutely no traffic down here. There's no point to even wait. There's nothing down here. But, uh, so you can see that even the need for this is just, it's just completely unnecessary to even have a, a traffic signal here, even during the ball games. I mean, there, there's not that much traffic to the point where you could not safely turn onto this street from either direction. And hell, the only direction you're turning from Monument is just a right-hand turn. And you're only turning right, so so guess what? This is a traffic light only for a right-hand turn only. Think about how freaking stupid this sh this is. Only right from this way, right from that way. So needing a traffic light to even do a right-hand turn really tells you just how utterly stupid and useless this traffic light really is and that proves that they need to remove it and but as I as I but I but as I suggested earlier you know I but I but but I was talking with Daryl Fairchild about this who's running for city commission which I'm hoping to do some neighborhood walks with him on my side of town East Dayton you know I, I was telling him at former school sites and other areas that where the school is gone where the traffic light should have already done you know been done been you know removed and i hope if he gets on to city commission that he will take the steps to help 
get rid of these unused traffic lights and to save money wherever they can. Like this truck right here, waiting to turn. There's nothing for him to even wait for. Absolutely nothing down here. It's just utterly stupid to even have this. And as I said, and if the businesses want the traffic light, make them pay for it. If not, say, too bad. It's got to go. You know, there's many traffic lights that are needed downtown. This ain't one of them, people. And if you, and if you guys want, I will even remake this video sometime over the summer when there's a Dayton Dragons game. Because, as I've proven, it's only a right-hand turn only. There is no left-hand turn on this on uh, this traffic light and that is just really stupid and just proves how dumb this traffic light really is but anyway that's it for this one demand that they get rid of these traffic lights like this and i am also gonna hopefully compile a list to send to daryl fairchild as well as others on city commission to say these lights gotta go that's it for this one